Do you ever wonder which is the best SEO keyword research tool? Is it SEMrush? Is it Ahrefs? And it's weird. I plug in the same keyword and I get different results across each platform. So in this video, I decided to do a case study with three of my actual clients. I plugged in the same exact keywords into each one of these five, six tools and I monitored the results. And the results will shock you. So. Stick around to the end and see exactly what I concluded. All right, so for the first tool, we're gonna try Ahrefs, one of the best keyword tools out there, uh, one that I use all the time, actually. And let's keep with the theme of today, and I'm gonna look at the best free SEO optimization tools. And weird, okay, so this one gives me nothing. And uh, so let's move on to Moz, another popular tool. Let's see what they give us. All right, so this one gives us zero to 10. Uh, the reason I'm showing this is you'll see on some other tools how the numbers are really wacky. So this one, we're not getting much of anything, actually. Something similar, best free SEO tools. Maybe let's try that. So for this one on Moz, we get between 201 and 500 uh, monthly search volume at a 62 difficulty score out of 100. Let's see if we get anything different with Ahrefs for this. And we are getting something. So similar, right? It's between, well, actually this one gives me a little bit more. So this one has higher volume and a higher difficulty. Uh, but for the sake of things, let's now go into Uber Suggest. And I'm gonna stick with best free optimization tool just to show you how crazy the difference is. So here we get the search volume of 720 and a difficulty of 11, where on the other ones we were getting a zero. Just free SEO. Just for reference, boom, this one didn't give us anything. Uh, an Uber suggest, oh, and see, it updated to 73. So I guess you just had to update it there, but shows you the huge difference. Now let's move on to a newer tool that I've been playing around with, SC Ranking. And I'm looking at uh, USA for the most part, just to keep things congruent. Let's see what we get with this one. All right, so here we get a search volume of 10. So the SE ranking one is closer to Moz and Ahrefs. Now let's, now let's take a look at one of the most popular tools out there, which is SEMrush. Let's see what we get here. So closer to the first two. So this is closer to Ahrefs. We got a volume of 20 and a keyword difficulty of 75 out of a hundred. So just goes to show you how different these tools are. The last tool that I do want to check out. Uh, this is the one I typically I usually go by and it's great if you are on low budget or you're just starting out. So let's see what we get with the keyword ads planner. So here, you're not going to get the difficulty, but we're going to get an av average monthly search, which is between 100 to 1k. So this is close to the Ahrefs. Well, actually it's not, it's closer to without optimization. So that one word kind of throws everything off. It's weird because optimization is the O of SEO. So maybe they're doubling up on that word. So maybe there's just a bit of a lag there. So let's check out best SEO tools and see if we get something similar. 880 and I think here was 500 and here it was 800. Okay, so for that keyword, getting a little bit closer to the money on all these tools. So this one is 880. So for that one, you see how just one word can change. And this one's at 1k. So all in the same range, fairly difficult. This one has, this one says it's doable, right? So this one is the more lax of the rest of them. Here we have a 62, 79. So all given us kind of different 
views, so to speak. Now let's go with the next keyword uh, for another one of my clients. I'm gonna go crisis manager and see what we get. Uh, again, only the US. So we're getting between 100 to 1K in the keyword planner from Google. Now let's take a look at SEMrush. What do we get here? So that is between 100 and 1K. I mean, the Google, the keyword planner, 100 between 1K, that's a bit of a difference. But here we're getting a volume of 590 and a 53 difficulty. Now let's check out Ahrefs, see what they give us. So this one's lower on that. So 450 and 590. Okay, so 450, 590, and the difficulty here much easier. So there it was a 59, all right, if I'm not mistaken, 53. And here we're at 19. Now let's go to Moz. It was very interesting how they do the difficulty score. Here we have a 52, so closer to what Semrush is between 201 and 500. So, yeah, they're giving you a range. You know, they're trying to, you know, be politically correct, not give you an exact number. Now let's go to Uber Suggests. I'm assuming, yeah, see, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what is with this. I've been playing around with this for a, a quite some time, and I thought it would be a great tool because, I mean, he is the SEO guy, and he built this thing with the best knowledge. Uh, the difficulty is above the rest of them, and so is the search volume. So this one seems like it's an outlier. Let's do one last check here for SE rankings. SE ranking. Aha, so now this one, SE ranking is similar to Uber Suggest. We're seeing some algorithmic similarities here between these two, and the rest of them are kind of on their own. So Ahrefs, SEMrush, and Moz seem to be on the same page. And these two have disagreements. Now let's just take one last look as uh, this is actually a project I'm working on now. Digital workplace strategy. And always like to start with Google to see what the trends are. So it doesn't look like there's a whole lot. <clears throat> 10 to 100. Not too much. Let's go over to uh, SEMrush. So I guess it's giving me a little bit more. That one was 10 to 100 on the ads planner. This one's giving me 140 and 35% difficulty. So they're saying it's possible. Good to know. Now let's turn our attention back to Ahrefs. What are they going to give us? I am human, what do you think? So they're giving us a little bit more, that's 10 more, 150. Uh, typically what I've seen with Ahrefs, they're lowballing it on the difficulty score, so a lot of the keywords appear easier. And on the other end of the spectrum is Uber Suggest, which everything is typically very, very difficult. So we get a four on Ahrefs, we had in the, it was in the 30s. Now let's go to Moz. What do we get for Moz? This is probably going to be closer to Ahrefs, I'm assuming. Even less. So this one's closer to Google Keywords Planner. Uh, isn't this all making a whole bunch of sense? 35. Okay, great. And I can already tell you what's going to happen here. All right. We get 90. So now we're kind of getting closer to the rest of the pack. We had 110 or 140 with, yes, 140 with SEMrush, 150 here, 90 here. So we're all in this like, we're all in the range. Okay, better than the last keyword. And this one is again at the 90. So yeah, it seems like these two are running something very similarly. Um, I may be too stupid. If somebody knows, please be my guest. Let me know. And that is, uh, that is it. Honestly, what I concluded was there was kind of two different teams, right? You had Moz, Ahrefs, and SEMrush that for the majority of the part gave 
similar results. And then on the other side, it was Uber Suggest and SE Rankings. And those two tools are fairly newer than the other three. The other three have a reputable history and these are the newer tools. So my conclusion is something that they do algorithmically matches to one another. So the one team and the second team, they do things very similarly. Which one is better? I couldn't tell you. I mean, you gotta probably go with the industry leaders, Ahrefs, SEMrush. But to be honest, when, even when I was starting out and I didn't know anything about SEO some 10 years ago, I got all of my results from tracking the keyword planner from Google, honestly, because I didn't have the budget, I didn't have anything. That's literally the only tool I had. I looked at the searches that were trending. I didn't even know the keyword difficulty. And that's what I went by. And I don't know, things have gotten more sophisticated now, but I think at the end of the day, it always goes back to the basics. And that's what I think about it. Thank you. If you watched it this far, please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos.